Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, it's Sunday uh, morning here, and just doing a quick little video. I got uh, gonna be real busy today. Got a lot of stuff going on, so I just thought I'd show you uh, for us around here. Um, you know, when we're busy doing stuff, uh, cooking something simple and hearty for dinner um, is important to us. And more often than not, we end up being, especially as the weather is gonna get nicer and we spend more time outside. We'll work and then all of a sudden we realize, you know, it's seven, eight o'clock and time to eat and we're tired, nobody wants to cook anything, so on and so forth. So we end up ordering takeout or something. And uh, that kind of goes against what we're trying to do here on, on Good Day Farm. Um, we want to, you know, know what's in our food, where our food comes from and, and stuff like that. So the only way you can do that is, is by making it yourself, you know, cooking your own food. Plus, you know, it's healthier um, and, and typically less expensive uh, depends on what you're making so anyhow today I just thought I'd show you uh, like I said it's morning uh, about eight o'clock here and um, I'm doing a crock pot uh, chicken and dumplings so this is something I can get going I've spent about a half hour this morning prepping everything I'll throw it in the crock pot and then I can go outside I got a bunch of firewood to I'm gonna cut some trees at the neighbors got to pick up hay work on firewood uh, do some projects outside shoot some videos for you guys uh, um, edit some videos I've got you know that kind of stuff you know, so the weekends are busy for all that so just wanted to show you what we're doing um, I'm gonna change the camera angle here and, and kind of give you a rundown hold on all right everybody um, nothing real fancy just your basic crock pot here and uh, I've got some vegetables I'm gonna throw in you got uh, diced onions carrots and celery and then some garlic I do buy my garlic minced. I used to do it from clothes, but I don't have time to mess with all that. And this stuff's pretty fresh and keeps forever in the jar. Uh, a little bit of thyme, fresh ground black pepper, and uh, I like to use coarse uh, kosher salt. Um, and then of course the chicken breast over there. So anyhow, let me get all this thrown in the pot and, and uh, try and film this as we go. So all I'm gonna do is just layer the vegetables in the bottom. Sorry, that was probably loud. Apologize. No particular order, doesn't really matter. Um, all this is is so that the, the meat's gonna sit on top of that. And then uh, just drop the chicken breast in there. Doing this one-handed, sorry. And uh, I'm gonna have to set the camera down now, but so now I'll, I'll season it. Uh, um, I'll put the garlic in, all the seasonings salt and pepper, and then uh, this one can of chicken stock. So uh, I'm gonna set the camera down. You guys get what's going on here. Uh, we'll set it on low, and uh, probably four to six hours, I'll come back and check on it, and I'll show you guys that, and then we'll, we'll pull the meat out, shred it, and then I'll make the dumpling mix, uh, make the stock, thicken it up with my cream, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So hang on. All right, at this point, uh, it's been cooking for about five hours on low. You could do it for three on high, as you know, six on low, four to six somewhere around there. But um, so at this point, I'm gonna pull the chicken out. We'll shred that, and then um, I don't have a way to film this, but basically I'll be making a a uh, using half and half and cornstarch to make a thickener to thicken all this with. And then after that, I'll drop the dumplings in. I'm gonna make a, a bread, you know, a biscuit batter basically. So that'll be a nice thing I show you. Pretty quick and easy way to shred chicken is uh, just use a hand mixer, and um, you know, make sure you got a deep enough container so it doesn't fling chicken all over the place. And just just run it in there, and like you're mixing it, it'll shred it up real good. Especially this stuff; it's pretty tender. Been cooking all day. You get the idea, um, it's really hard for me to do one handed. So I'm gonna set the phone for the camera down here so I can finish it. You can already see how easy it shreds that. Um, I also use a fork sometimes, but I'm gonna hurry today so this will work best for me. There you go, that literally took, uh, that was two whole chicken breasts, uh, maybe 45 seconds once I set the phone down, you know, the camera down so that I could, you know, hold the bowl and use the, the mixer. Super easy, super quick. Uh, shreds it really, really good. You can kind of control how, how fine you want it by how long you mix it. 
Anyhow, if you're not using a hand mixer to shred your chicken, that's a tip for you. You might want to try it. All right, so now is where we add, this is uh, half and half in cornstarch. You could use milk, cream, anything you want. You know, if you're worried about too much fat or, or don't have something on hand, milk would be fine. Um, the more cream, just the richer it's going to be. So we're just going to add that to our stew we got going. Stir it in real good. And then uh, the shredded chicken, add that in and stir all that up real good. And then the next step is, this is the dumpling batter. I'll spoon that out and put it on top of all this and we'll put a lid on it and let it cook for roughly another hour. And I'll show you, I can't do that while I'm holding the camera so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, there's, uh, there it is with the uh, half and half and cornstarch all mixed in, chickens mixed in. Did the dumplings on top there. Uh, you can use a little spoon to, to spoon those out and put on there. I just pinch the dough with my fingers. It's a little messy, but it's, you know, quick and easy. Um, I forgot to mention the uh, dumpling batter was just simply flour, uh, baking powder, salt, and then uh, butter is the, the binder, the fat. And then I used um, uh, milk. And then we added some uh, pepper, thyme, and uh, garlic powder. Uh, so they should be nice and tasty on top. So we'll put the lid on this and let it cook on low for about an hour uh, At least 45 minutes 50 minutes probably make sure those little dough balls are all cooked and then um, we'll be eating it So there we have it um, I might let it cook about five more minutes, but basically that's done uh, I tested a dumpling back there in the corner and they're, they're good not doughy anyhow, so this was relatively simple for me to do for today. Like I said, I was very busy today. Um, about 30 minutes prep this morning, turned it on. Uh, I got back to a little later than I wanted, about five hours. I was gonna check on it, you know, at four, but it, it doesn't really overcook, uh, cause I had it on low. Um, finished, you know, so then I did the, uh, added the thickener and the, the dumpling dough on top. Then it cooked for another hour, so I was able to finish. I had cut a bunch of trees at the neighbors and was able to go pick up that firewood while this was cooking. And now we're ready to eat it. So there you go. Like I was saying, you know, that, that just gives us um, something pretty easy, easy that, that you didn't have to watch. And, you know, rather than coming in, you know, it's already, uh, it's about six o'clock now. So when I started this, it was eight. So I'm just now done with everything for outside for the most part for the day. Well, by the time I get cleaned up and, uh, you know, get ready to make dinner, it's going to be pushing to 7 o'clock, 6.30 easy. And uh, then an hour, you know, to make dinner and, and, you know, 20 minutes to eat or whatever. So uh, kind of late, you know, like I said, typically we would just say, let's get some takeout, you know, tired. Uh, we've both been working all day. So this was no maintenance. Uh, basically cooked itself thanks for watching you guys have a great day we'll see you on the next video bye now